what is going on ladies and gentlemen welcome back to another video man part three of how to ride a motorcycle series did i hold up three part three of how to ride a motorcycle series today i just want to be focusing on turning we're talking about slow turning we're talking about a little bit higher every other time but like the higher speed turning as well now once again i want to keep it simple short and effective for you guys but those are the two types of turning on a motorcycle how to turn at a slower pace i would say below eight miles an hour and then when you start picking up speed you'll have to start using the other method which is leaning the bike using the weight of the bike to turn as well so obviously of course i'm gonna start with the uh, slower maneuver turns here and basically you're actually gonna have to turn the handlebar right turn it left and right a below once again like i said eight miles an hour below eight miles an hour and below that's when you just gotta just simply turn turning the handlebars and then for higher speeds above that leaning like pushing down there's two methods to do these high speed turns pushing on either side like when i push it push or you can pull like pull up on it and it'll do the pull up right so push down right to go right push down left go left you push you pull up right it's gonna go left you pull up left it's gonna go right but we're gonna we're gonna start off with the low speed maneuvers and so to do this i'm just gonna put it in gear i'm just gonna find the turn like let's say you're coming out of this spot here all right you're in the parking spot i'm not parked diagonally or anything just straight on like right? and I, but i want to go right here i want to go to the right i'm just go obviously you gotta play with the clutch but you see how i'm turning here you just just simply just turn it look where you want to go as well that is something that's very very important man like i used to have this anxiety with turning as well a lot of people seem to where you feel like the bike's going to fall over at low speed but the speed is what's going to keep you from falling over okay i'm, I'm gonna repeat that the speed is what's going to keep you from falling over so do not do not do not do not press do not try to clamp down on your brakes i can't stress that enough the speed is what's gonna keep you to keep that momentum going you want to keep that momentum going here once you stop it gravity's going to take it take over so if you're stopping make sure it's like a construct a control stop like this one right here you put your feet down and stuff like that do not break in the middle of a turn and this is what i meant by the way like don't 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 break especially in the middle of a turn you're just halfway you're going low speed and you're just clamping on your brakes because you will go down once again you want to keep that momentum going forward so i'm here at this turn i'm gonna go left here right low speed you'll see here i'm just gonna turn the bike that way play you gotta play with the clutch as well look where you're going ain't nothing on the ground you don't need to look on the ground right glance on the ground is that my glove no that's not my glove bro because i lost the glove yeah but you want to look where you're going unless you're looking for instructions for a moment or two look that is the other very important thing look where you're going like the bike's not if you're looking at the ground that's where the bike is gonna go you'll learn really soon wherever you're looking that's where the bike's gonna go so i'm gonna go left here i'm gonna look there first i'm gonna turn it right i'm gonna glance to the handlebars so you guys can see the handlebars but i look you gotta look there look throughout the turn once you know that you're safe coming up on this turn then you're good to go ahead and go ahead and scout ahead a little earlier and especially as just as you're about to start turning and through the turn look through the whole turn like if it's a whole roundabout look at where you want that bike to go look for instructions obviously but look where you want to go and that's where that bike is going to go so once again like don't break don't rely on these brakes you're gonna keep that bike going at a steady this is five miles an hour don't break during the turn look where you want to go and turn the handlebars you're not leaning the bike at that point you're just turning the handlebars so right here brake i'm gonna go right here right i'm letting out the clutch i'm looking and i'm walking the bike i didn't say that before but you can walk the bike through the turn i mean ain't no ain't nothing you, you want to be safe and do it in a safely manner so you can walk this bike too i'm gonna take this wide but look turn it looking where i'm going turning the bike lane positioning is important as well right 
As long as this bike is going in the, in the direction, it's not going to fall over. And if you're that low speed, like I just said, you can walk this. You can walk this thing. I'm gonna make this chart right here next to the left of this bush, right? I'm gonna take it wide. I'm gonna look where I wanna go. I'm turning this handlebar. And it's gonna go. Just don't break through it. Let the momentum carry you. As long as you're looking where you wanna go, you turn that handlebar, it's gonna go. Just don't break. Say so I wanna make this turn right here to the left. Let out that clutch. Look where I wanna go. Turn the handlebars. I'm just turning it. Okay? Now that's that is essentially low speed maneuvers. Now I'm gonna try to do some high. I'm gonna try to do some high speed uh, turns here. I might have to get on the road. We'll see. But essentially, like I said, you're either going to push to the right to go right, push down on the left to go left. Above eight miles, eight to ten miles an hour, you're gonna have to start leaning the bike when you turn. So, or you can pull up. I normally just push left or right. It's easier. It's a little bit more confusing to say if you pull up right, you'll go left and then vice versa. Just pushing is easier for me to remember. What? Walking the bike, turning it. So, let's get up some speed here and watch what I do. Like you, you, you can't see it as good on camera, but watch what I do here. I'm picking up speed here, taking it wide. I'm pushing down on the right handlebar right now. Look at that. I'm pushing down. This with the uh, what they call it, the gyroscope of the bikes or something like that. They call it take over. I'm I, all I did was push on the right handlebar, here. and I just the bike just goes right. I'm about to make a Yui right here. All right, leaning. I'm leaning on this thing. I'm leaning. I'm pushing this this handlebar left. The whole time I'm pushing it left and then to straighten it back out I pushed it right just to equal it back out and that 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 is how you turn the high speeds but I'm gonna do it a couple more times here pick up speed I'm going to say 20. I'm leaning. I'm pushing left. Pushing, pushing, pushing. You see how sharp I can take that? Also, because I went to the outside, it's lying position it, but you just pushing. Look, push. I'm pushing. This is just me pushing the bike. Pushing down on the handlebars. Push here. Pushing right. Pushing left. Pushing right. That's what that does. That's what you do for higher speed turns. Once again, push down left, right. How you doing? You cut crowd the lie, ain't you? Push down left to go left. Push down right to go right. When the motorcycle ergonomics start to take over. Okay. I'm pushing this whole time to get right there in this lot. Once again, as always, let me know if I forget something. But it's like the basic principles on how to turn low speed and high speed one more final time let me know if i miss anything in the comments below here to help y'all out and ultimately i want everybody to help everybody out you feel me y'all say y'all be safe out there riding i'll see y'all in the next one